top laners are kind of playing like carries. Obviously, Nightfall is a, a carry player. Um, maybe they'll force BCM to use the haste here. Oh, nice jackal. Pops it and now trying to turn, looking for the kill. They find him right there. Cold Embrace, not nearly enough. And Abed has to this back away, but the boat dropped down and no refraction, no Ooh. nothing. Abed drops. Seb now looking for more Cherax. In some trouble as well as he's going to get pulled back. And OG making it work here early as they Couldn't rotate. get the ulti off in time as we're back in the real game again. Duraccio turns on to Amar. Avalanche toss. Caught with the sleep switch back the other direction. Tofu not able to help his team as much. Another shackle coming out from Seb. The kill force actually pushes him just out of range, but eventually get the Aegis. What more is left in the tank? Ace turning, punching BZM, but Duraccio in trouble. Another combo comes out. And OG, they strike back. Refresher for himself too. As funny as it is, he doesn't even have any mana, but he's got the mangoes prepped just in case. The man for the Aegis, but OG, they're gonna smoke into Fnatic. I'm gonna try and take this fight, Seb. It's getting pretty low. There's the ult hit for DJ. Shoots Seb down. Jump forward from Amar. He's in with the Ravage on the two of them. BZM's got the four. They're locking down Jab for a fresh out. A second Ravage. Jump again over with the Rolling Thunder. They're locking down the Ember. That's going to be Jab's out for two minutes. Amar again doing it with the Ultimus Raven. He's into the Invis here. He's trying to run away. Actually turns, but he's caught in the Ice Bath. Raven, he's almost certainly going to go down the one. Amar jumping forward to push back DJ. If they can take him out a second time, Tiger. They He's just in dropped the hole. Over the root. Side. We'll put a stop to John Wall. Everyone's got the middle. Another root. But there's the second root again. John Wall doing his best to stop these black holes. But Raven still falls. John Wall also going down. Defensive with his build. Finally now started. And Steven can't lead in on your argue. Start things off with the e Oh my god. He's got the jump onto Armel. The yield disc will give some safety for Armel to back off. Yoragi buys back immediately, Tiger, stepping forward with the BKB, but not able to find an opportunity to drop a black hole. Out to the side, the root, Jabs. into the ice bath, they've caught Jabs, they're bursting through, and that's Jabs out for 100. A big kill into more jump forward, there's the Ravage again, they've locked down Raven, they're staying on top of the CK, Tiger, black hole. in black hole to the side, but John Well, he's in with the overgrowth, cancels the first black hole, Tiger, pops the refresher, he's going to have another one good to go, he's jumping deep, he's looking to try and catch more as the rest of his team are taking out Raven, Raven will buy back, off to the side, DJ finishes off BZM. Okay. Out there from the Zantor. That may have maybe saved his life, potentially. Nice. I'm just going to allow him to live long enough to get the cookie off. The power shot missed, so Scam is able to walk away. A shackle. Step. He's in with a shackle. They're going to try and burst through Jackie. He's get the Wukong's command off. And Jingu Mastery comes to him, and he cannot live steal it. He has again. finished up the whole Agnims and that Arcane Room. So it should be a really strong Ember if he doesn't die right away. Drunk was Amar. They catch him in the Remnant. He has got BKB. He's able to get it off in time. The Wukong's command's down. Oh him. Gets destroyed completely by Yuragi. Jump forward from FBC, but they've all got BKBs up at the moment. No one to spare. They'll look to lock down Yuragi. His BKB coming to an end as he's trapped in the arena. Pinned to the wall by the spear. They bring down the CK. Jackie trying to stand his ground. BZM to the side. Joe Pash is controlling him here with the silence into the Yules. BZM, has he got anything else to jump forward with? He'll try and turn with the slight chains. Jackie. Ops to heal up off the creeps. That vision they just placed, the, literally just from them smoking out, or moving out at least with the wind range and getting the vision oh, up, is what allows them to get jumps. He's in with the blink jump. The shackle's there. And another one. There's going to be a buyback now coming out from Scam. They need Ooh. to try and punish OG there for getting that big kill onto the mid. See them jump for Scam, but Scam also going to get taken out. Mar with the triple. Really play in what their mentality is. This is no surprise at all mm -hmm. uh, to go for that Maelstrom build. And either way, you're going to end up with a Mjolnir or a... Um, that balance here. strike, you can see the relocate coming with BZM, Wukong's command to follow, but Seb's all alone inside, and the heal up from Snake King, keeping 33 quite healthy. Seb might have to sacrifice himself, but we've seen him get away many a time. He actually dodges the whirling axes and pounces away again. Seb continually living and forcing out all these rotations from Tundra, just wasting time. Yeah, in the meantime, you're uh, wrong. Yeah, that fight could have been a lot worse for both teams, honestly. Uh, kind of some misspells on both sides as Seb gets off a balance strike onto two. Tree dancing in as well. BZM, the blood right is connected. Soxa is definitely dead here. And there's the coil onto two. Looks like the troll is going to not break it this time around. And instead, they're going to find Snaking. And next is Peter. OG. Can't control themselves. Dark Marga's going to jump in. He'll get the spear back on BZM. Chrono Good back. Chrono. Good one. Catching the two of them. Now focus BZM first. They've got the damage to bring him down. See if they can turn for more. Yuragi, he's in straight away on top of Panzer as the Pugna has to run. Shackle, the, the Gale Force as well, blowing back the cars over towards Yuragi, who get the sun in, ripped as well, dragging him back there in onto the void. Shackle again. Shackle again. Step 
locking them down. Oh Thunder Awaken, everybody's dead. They poured it into that fight. See if they can try and get Sableye. He'll try and surge away, but the shackles there from Seb. Sableye in trouble. Boundless at the ready. OG continue to well and truly deal with it. The top, top lane Dark City are sending out the tips as well. Over to the mid. Ryle tries a bit of setup here with the Dream Core, but TP's are coming in. Moon, he's got to back off. Tackle. They get the shackle again. Steps in. See, grabbing the speed creep into the Doom. So they can't really commit on him either, because if they do throw anything, oh, he's just the and resets. Yuragi off They're the mark. They're going to stepping forward. Ryle's going to try and help out here, as so he'll jump in with the silence onto Seb. But they've lost Tubu. Seb should take out pretty low. No, he's actually going to live. The table like gets him with the vacuum, but he couldn't quite catch Seb. Ah, he's ready to fight. He's in under the tier two, committing him with the BKB. He'll turn over towards Sable, like take out the darks here. Dubu's brought back. TSM FTX, can they really punch back in this fight? Ryle, Ryle. forward. He'll get caught by the Scalabars into the Cookie Tiger, locking him down. Dubu trying to heal up the puck, but Amar's in on top of him with the silence. Brow goes down. Zip four from BZ. They have the control on towards Dubu. Tomato plus the BKB trying to get out, but the bash is there. Triple kill from Amar. Zip four from BZ towards Moon. OG, they get the team wide. Whoa. Hero, since the IO is already part of the move. But now they are trying to bait it in. 33. He's going to get instantly ruptured. He gets off his BKB, but he is dying very swiftly, attempting a TP out. Oh, the bash from Amar is enough. It looked like he was going to get out in time, but the bash very timely from Amar. And now the coil applied to Snake and gets off the Decrepify. Healing up to a high degree by Seb, but the Blood Rise is going to cancel it. Then the double kill for Amar as OG just continuing the onslaught. Sokka's dead next. It's a five versus two. Skeeter completely surrounded. He pops the BKB, but the rest of OG just completely resetting, waiting for that BKB to run out. Gets off the ult in the meantime, though. Yuragi jumping in, gets a four second Chaos Bolt, and that's going to lead in likelihood to a kill onto Skeeter. One remaining member for Tundra. It is the Pangolier. He's silenced currently and brought down to his knees. Double kill Amar and oh! Bottom lane, Seb. Dubu's very, very low here. Almost sort of baiting Seb to hunt around the tree line for him. He'll turn with the curse. Seb, gonna take quite a bit of damage from this one. Will live, and in fact, he's baited them into maybe set up for something themselves. They turn with the shackle into the spear. The charges will be there for Tomato as he'll try and run away from this one. But Amar and Seb, they'll take him down. First love for Amar. Effectively, OG just bullying them here with three, with Amar standing in front. This is almost impenetrable wall. They're going to try to force this BKB here. Let's see what they can do. They get the stun to open things up into the, the Ray 5 blast as well. Amar getting low, but now the ink swells out. The arena's down. He pops the BKB to remove the silence. Spear back on to Brile. They take out the Lesh. Tomato also trapped in the arena. He's trying to run. Yuragi's going to sweep him from the side. Get on top of the Wraith King. Take him down the one. Sableye's been ruptured. He's got to hold back. Tomato is going to try with the second line to fight. But BZM's in with the BKB. The Vortex pull back. Tomato taken out a second time. Double kill for Tiger. Moon, he has to come to an end with the kiss. He's gonna try to escape with the big ball, but he oh, can't. Oh, gonna go in, but they have two kills. They have two dead heroes. I mean, it's a good stun. All right, kisses. That's gonna be a dead Jiragi. That's a huge kill for TSM FTX to get. The thing is, the rest of OG, they're ready to fight and take kills in return. Amar, he's taken out Brile. They'll turn over towards Tubi. In fact, Amar, he's going in towards the tier four. Jumps in with the arena, catches Moon. As they may have lost their carry, but Yuragi knows he's, he's not even looking for the Grimstroke. They'll get him. Over to the side, though, Mile. Drop the arena. Doesn't manage to catch anyone, though. Stable Eye turns towards Seven. Yuragi off the back lines. BZM will zip straight forward to the world to do with the God's Review. Takes out the silence. The spear as well. Connecting onto Moon. Two down. Yuragi, he's looking to clean up as well. Stable Eye falls. Tomato goes down the once. See a buyback come out from Moon. Tomato's gonna opt for the BKB TP out. Tries to toggle his way to safety, but he cannot survive. He goes down. Chase over towards Browse. Moon with the Scatterblast trying to push back OG. But the shackle connects. Triple kill for your argument. GG is pulled. OG, they'll take their ball with that. The series is there. The championship side. TP in now from Yuragi onto the enemy outpost, which is now theirs. 33 spotted oh. out again. Okay. That was the gem spawning out the ward as well. The Shackle, Viper Strike, Gale Force combination. 33 is just perma stun here. Nice Omni Slash though, so Taiga will be the trade. Tundra getting something out of this, but they lose Soxa. Another Shackle by Seb. Meteor coming out, Skeeter with the TP, but the right click damage is way too much to handle as OG looking to take game one in extremely convincing fashion. They'll find the Invoker as well. Double kill for Amar. That's the decoy, I think. Oh, Balance Strike misses this time from Seb. They're looking for 33. There's the Rupture. They get it off. The Yule's a little bit too late. 
Going to get silenced with the blood right as well. Focusing on 33. Gets off the BKB, but the right clicks will suffice as Tundra on the back foot now. And they're just bashing through. Amar's beating the crap out of Nine. He's in the Rolling Thunder, though. He blinks and gets the kill while BKB. Jiragi getting quite low, but the blood right now onto this Troll Warlord. And that's another bursted hero in favor of OG. Five dead. It's a full team wipe. And Rotation here from the storm, looking to set up on of Amar. They come together a connection. They jump in with a burst. Jiragi's going to turn up. Oh. Bruno is going to catch the three of them. He'll turn his attention over towards the storm first, but he doesn't get enough bashes. Dark Margo gets out of there, but Picard, he won't be able to escape. Matthew also in trouble. Sacred comes in with a stun. The ult to try and burst through Seb. The bow's going to be coming in, though, and that will provide the protection for Seb to get out of there. They lose a third hero here, Thunder Awaken. As OG, they're not done yet. They're going to look for more. X mark set up onto Sacred. They're they going to drag it back into the prime. Spring on step, a full team wipe here by OG. That one tries to get a jump onto your Argy. Over to the side, the Hex from Amar comes down onto Jackie. Deep remnant here from BZM. He goes straight towards the back lines. Does get caught out by the initial stun, but now the BKB's there for BZM. He'll continue to chase back, boom, push the back towards the fountain. FBZ has been caught, but the Wukos commands down. So OG's got to be careful how they commit into this. They're just playing outside of it. They're just taking out the rack slowly. Got the kiss here, Seb. He's in, he's got the shackle off onto the two cores. He's caught Jackie and he's caught Yopas. Jackie in trouble. Jackie goes down. They have a word here. Got Laurel. Green coil. Now the shackle is needed just to set up for the loser orb. Well played here. However, Yuragi still stuck in the trees. Yes, he is. And now stuck inside the arena as they're going to go for Taiga first. Inside the server wards is Yuragi. Taiga still holding onto the relocate as it's been cancelled even. That will condemn Yuragi. Three dead though for Bepum as Amar joins the fight out of the back lines. He's going to chop through Force Major here as BZM stuck inside the Sprout will win the mano a mano. Firestorm damage will tick down Force Major. Bye. They're uh, biding their time. I think that Boom knows something's gonna happen. Amar comes back with a BKB. There's gonna be a counter initiation. It seems like Taiga in a really good position. Can't get hit by the Rolling Thunder. As noticed, is being slammed by Amar. Sliced and diced. Noticed. Shot in the back and killed. Oh, Taiga. Yuragi Ooh. still chasing after Force Major. Hoping for a kill, at least on a support. Activates BKB just for this. A shackle shot will guarantee this. It does allow you to walk out of the Sprout Leash Talents. Yes. But Puck does not have those spider legs. He could be in trouble. They broke his Lincolns. However, they don't know how long they can stay here. They don't know who else is a buy. So they quite think it's BKB. They want to punish Seth for his transgression. But the Dream Code oh, cancel both DPs. Both. That level 25 once again coming and into here's play. Yuragi. They're stuck here. The Hawk, he wants to run away, leaving Soneko to die. But that is going to be a punishment for both as the Hawk and Soneko lose their lives the tips come out they want to fight on the way back in but refreshing is going to fight again Soneko not ready for this even with his own BKB as the Hawk aiming for Taiga Yuragi freed though by the BKB outside of the arena the Hawk's going to use one of his own he's going to try and TP out of this using the scroll and he is free to leave with no dream coil to stop him but notice he is held in place by Amar makes it four dead the to show. Malinkas is there Sacred will jump in with the bow strike Yuragi is going to step forward and look he gets nobody he gets nobody it looks like it probably won't matter though as they kill off Sacred Sacred buys back Dark Margo with his BKB on the retreat Amar beating into Picard Picard's trying to step forward Picard. the controls there they're in on top of Picard Picard's disarmed and getting bashed in by BGM he gets taken out Sacred he pulled back for this one but he's also in trouble X mark back into the torrent I mean OG they're just that far they're checking. They're pinging it. They are still around. FBZ. FBZ. They found him at the side. FBZ. He'll turn. He'll get the arena off. He'll try and run. But the damage is done by Yuragi. Yopaj committing him with the BKB. Jumps forward to look towards Tiger. Jackie will pull him back. Get the kill done. But now the get off was burned about the Dream Coil. It's oh, caught for three of the BZM. Traps them and allows them all to swing across. Cut them down with the Chakra and four dead. This on tab, boom. This tab again and again and again, right? Uh, Gale forced into two-man shackle there. First team to catch up. I mean, they're, Tims. they're looking for the team white bear running down the Rubik. Tim's the last one left alive. Yuragi shoots him down. Taiga is a prime hero to break these smokes. Amar? With the jump true sights a bit scary. Amar this time gets off the BKB though. And there's a counter initiation. Notice forced back with Seneko jumping onto Yuragi. As they do see Taiga, they're gonna look and get through him first. Essence Ring won't keep him up. And BZM jumps the back line. Silence not gonna do anything against the BKB as he will at least cut through both supports. We get into a new phase of the team fight here. Both teams looking to counter initiate. Taiga is going to be the next target here, and he is going to be the one to die as Bet Boom. They want to poke and prod. They don't know if they can continue this too much. Dreamco has been committed, but they don't want to overcommit here. Finally, with a spear, they get a chance. Winter Curse is available. We'll make the first usage. There we go. And the first usage is going to kill Notice, thanks to the familiars. In exchange for the Wraith King's first life, though, Laurel. He leaves himself close to Yuragi, who starts the BKB. He knows Soneko's a target. Soneko's surprisingly tanky, though. They need the help of Amar, and Soneko will fall. But Laurel hitting Yuragi a bit too hard. That combination of waning rift plus the Lucerne has to be 
saved thanks to the cold embrace, which will out heal both Armut and the Witchblade. Are all Laurel still looking to snipe him though? Instead, we'll settle for Seb. Oh, oh. I don't know about this one, Laurel. You might be punished. They break the Lincolns, and even though he got Seb, he.